Hello everyone, I have an interesting little video for you here from Luhansk. This shows a TOS-1 MLRS getting targeted by an FPV drone. Let's take a look at the video. So, as well as the vehicle being hit, this is quite an interesting video, as you can see there's a lot of interference to the drone's feed on this one. I wonder if this MLRS system was fitted with a jammer, which was causing the interference. Although, usually, with a jammer, we see the screen go completely black. This drone made it through though, and targeted the TOS-1 successfully. So, a nice little strike here. Let's check out where this took place. So here's the geolocation. This was geolocated by Neon Handrail on Twitter. So, the TOS-1 was along this road here, when it was visited by the drone. If we zoom out a touch, you can see that this is directly west, pretty much, of a settlement called Zylivka, which isn't too far from Kremina in the north part of Ukraine on the eastern front, very close to the Luhansk and Donetsk border. Let's have a look at the control of this region. So, the TOS-1 has a very short range of just 10 kilometers, so these need to operate very close to the front, which does make them vulnerable. Directly west of where this launcher was is an area where an ongoing offensive is being carried out. This is a big push towards Terni and Yampolivka, which started at the start of the year. So, I'd say this launcher was likely supporting the operations there. 23 of these are up on Oryx at the moment. There were around 45 in service back in February 2022. So, a big chunk of the active fleet is now gone. Remember, this is just visually confirmed losses. The true number will likely be higher, as not everyone will be videoed or photographed. These are valuable targets, as despite their flaws, we put down a lot of firepower. So that's it for this video, a short one, but one I hope you found interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much, and take care everybody.